We got a lot to talk about from this show at Wembley. We just got back. It was a historic show. It set the all-time paid record for a pro wrestling event, as we will get to here in that a is, moment. That is, what the, that is the claim, yes. There is a new AW pay-per-view we have to talk about, which I will be at live because it's in Seattle. Maybe I'll be there, too. And, uh, and we had another physical altercation. And uh, all we're going to say about CM Punk and Jack Perry are the things that we know for sure, because there are a lot of stories. And what we know for sure is that right before the main show started, actually, we could go back a little bit. We should go back. Go there back. was a, a hook match with uh, Jack Perry, and they did a spot on a car. Uh, and on the, wind, they, the windshield broke. They broke glass, and then Jack Perry looked in the camera, and he said... I something we will see. We watch it live, so we don't know exactly what he said. But he said something to the effect. That's mine. That's yours. He said something oh. to the effect of uh, "That's real glass." Uh, he made he made a comment about the fact that they were using real glass. There's real glass because and and, and cry a river. Or, cry me I, a river. I, that, or that, that, like I think that. might be cry me a river. Okay. Now we did not hear that, but um, but that is what he said. Essentially, he said something along those lines. He the the, the point is he made a comment about glass because there had been an incident where he wanted to do an injury angle on collision because he was going to be taking a vacation to Hawaii. Yeah. And uh, he wanted to do an angle involving glass. And CM Punk said, we don't do glass here. And so they ended up not doing an angle at all. Yeah. And so they did the glass spot on the pay-per-view. Jack Perry made the comment. So then right before the pay-per-view started, which so was going to open with so, Samoa so this, Joe. So this would have been the match. Just This is the match right before the pay-per-view is going to open. It's the second uh, yes. buy-in match. So it probably ended, um, what was it, like 15 minutes before, yeah. 10, 10, 15 minutes before the uh, the hour. But the point is, right before the main show started, which was going to be uh, CM Punk versus Samoa Joe, this would have been like moments before they came down to the ring. There was a physical altercation of some sort either between CM Punk and Jack Perry. Either, either a, a, a punch or a choke. Well, there's a whole bunch of stories, so I don't even want to... There was there was some sort of physical altercation, and it was broken up. CM Punk went to the ring for his match, and uh, his you know match. if you if you watched CM Punk as he was coming down to the ring, he looked like a guy that was irritated, and uh, that's because something had just happened. And he ends up doing the match with Samoa Joe. He ends up winning the match. He goes to the backstage area. Immediately, there's security there. And security escort CM Punk back to his dressing room. Jack Perry was then told to leave. He was removed from the building. CM Punk stayed in his dressing room with security for I'm not sure how long. But eventually security then came and removed him from the building. And then at the post-show press conference, Tony Khan basically started the press conference and said, I'm not going to talk about this in any more detail, but there was an altercation tonight. And we are doing an investigation to find out exactly what happened. And that's all I'm going to say about it. Yeah. So uh, there was obviously, you know, a great deal of, of unhappiness. You know, there's CM Punk supporters. And obviously there's a lot of people that are big fans of Jack Perry. And uh, depending on, you know, who you're friends with, you were very upset for one reason or another. And, uh, you know, there were a lot of people that, you know, they had to wrestle tonight. And they knew all about this and what had happened. And it. I don't know if it affected their performance, but obviously, you know, they had to go out there with this knowledge. And, uh, and there was a lot of people upset about it. So where this goes, we don't know. Uh, there's an investigation ongoing, and I guess we'll find out uh, what happens here. I guess, you know, I mean, it's, uh, you know, I, I mean, the, the one thing when, when uh, the CM Punk original thing with Jack Perry happened, you know, whatever it was a couple months ago, right? It was about a couple months ago, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, I remember hearing about it, and it was pretty much said, like, uh, it's over and done with. And unfortunately, it wasn't over, it, it, which is the story of everything. It's over and done with, except it's not over and done with. So this was another, it was another situation. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's not like last week or whatever it was the week before when I wrote that big story and... You know, people said more is going to happen and figured, you know, it could happen, but it happened a lot quicker than we expected.
And I don't know what the answer is because it just feels like these things happen too frequently. And, um, it, you know, you, it makes you think that it's going to happen again. Um, unless it's taken care of and it hasn't been taken care of in 18 months. So, ah, that's the situation. So that was the, uh, the drama coming out of the show. Uh, the record 81,035 was announced and, uh, you know, they were, they were pretty, um, specific about making sure that they had a real number. That's what they said. And, uh, and now the, I, I, I there, there were like, there were empty seats in the building. It was not like completely. It was, no, there was, it was not like every seat was sold and they were selling, you know, 500 tickets a day for the last several days. And they were selling tickets when we were inside, they were still selling tickets. Well, there's going to be some, there, there's going to be some, tickets. There, 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 there was still going to be some. Yeah. They uh, never claimed it was sold out and it wasn't sold out. It wasn't sold out. There no. were, there, there were, there were empty seats. There were not a lot of empty seats, but they were there. And, um, Tony, uh, at, you know, said that the number in the building was 90,000. Now, the, the key with the 90,000 is, is that that does include people that normally would not be counted in attendance, which would be like the staff and things like that. But there were several thousand at comps. So, you know, you were talking about 84, 85. We did not get that number. But but by traditional, you know, like, it, it, you know, it, it, it was close. I don't want to say close to 90,000, but it was probably 85 or 84 or somewhere in that range as far as number in the building. And the gate was over 10 million. Um, but, um, you know, so it would have been the, you know, it's, it's, there was, I think there've been six $10 million gates in history before this one. So this will be the seventh. Um, obviously both nights in Philadelphia will be eight and nine and there, you know, who knows if there'll be anything between now and then. But, uh, you know, the, I guess there's a lot of news coming out also, but one of them is is that they're doing the show on August 25th, 2024, back in the stadium. Yes, they announced at the end of the show that they are going to do Wembley again next year. And it is going to be August 25th, 2024. And uh, Tony also confirmed that he is planning on doing all in and all out a week apart with a week apart he's doing it this year and he's doing it next year he wants this to be a tradition and uh you know we were talking actually before because somebody asked at the press conference like are you going to do all out next year as well and, and said, he, said, he said, yes. said yes and before we had been discussing it and the idea was kind of like well maybe they should get through all in all out this year and then decide if it's a good idea to do an all out a week later next year. And maybe but, they uh, should have, but they did he not He decided that he's not going to wait. And uh, that's his plan. He's going to do both shows again next year. He wants to do the bank holiday here in the U S and the bank holiday. The bank in the, UK. the bank. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. right, right so yeah. he's going to do both. Uh, and yes, it's going to be, I mean, as, as long as he can do it and not lose his ass, it looks like it's going to be an annual thing. All out and all in the August twenty fifth weekend, and then the uh, the following weekend for Chicago. Well, yeah, Labor Day. So, so the the deal as far as again, like this year, it ended up being two pay per views. It's not necessarily going to be two pay per views, and there were even things discussed. You know, as far as like a year from now, you know, will there, you know, will they get a deal like WWE and UFC or something like that? I mean, it's all, there's many things that can happen in, in the pay-per-view industry, but they would be, um, you know, so it could be a different type of pay-per-view, but um, yeah, the plan is just to do both. Um, I mean, the plan, you know, is the tradition and it felt to me like, you know, um, if, the, if, the next, if next year's show does well, he will do a third show on, in late August the next year as well. Now, maybe if it doesn't do well, he does it at uh, O2 Arena. Maybe, but who knows? I mean, it's so far in advance. And um, I think that, uh, you know, it was a ballsy move to, to, to do it. And it obviously, it paid off better than most predicted going in. I think a lot of people will, will go back to write, you know, what we had the last time he announced it, where people are going to go like, oh, you know, it's, it's going to be whatever. It's going to be a failure, blah, 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 blah. You know, I think that they... Um, you know, as far as what break even is and things like that, um, you know, I mean, it doesn't need to do 80,000 to be a big success. 40,000 would be a, a success. It would be, a, it would be down, but it would be a success. Um, 
and you know we, we so we got another year of people doing that speculation but um the you know i mean it it's it's a real it's a real ballsy move now one of the things the the pay-per-view from streaming numbers um is the biggest in a year from streaming numbers which is a, usually a pretty good indication and my gut is that because of its early start time on the west coast in particular and even even on the east coast that the late buys will probably be larger than usual and for television even more so so um i would say it's it's positive you know it's, it's a positive and tony was even like uh talking about like it's the first time he's ever really acknowledged that you know they were super hot before and now you know then they had that period where people got hurt and you you know you know they were hot until i guess i guess like you know he's he's saying the uh the show in los angeles right where um where punk or or, or um was it was it punk got hurt in los angeles or did you get it he mentioned punk getting hurt and he mentioned adam, uh, adam, adam cole getting adam, hurt and he adam, mentioned mjf leaving yeah, MJF left, but that which was that, but that was their doing though. But as far as like um, Adam Cole was a couple of weeks later, I believe, because that was late uh, June, and then Brian Danielson also got hurt with the concussion, um, so he was out. You know, they were both out for for a while there, and um, you know, he said like like they were really at their hottest peak until that period, and then with all those people gone, you know, it uh, they went down, and now he said that. You know, sometimes you never get a second chance to have that hot period. And he believes that that this is, you know, that this was a hot period. I mean, certainly it's the biggest day in the history of the company by far. I mean, you know, nothing even close, biggest revenue and all that. But I mean, as far as is this a hot period? I mean, we're going to find that out, you know, in the future. How, you know, what business does this boost? Or, um, do they come out of it with more momentum? I mean, yeah, I think that all the talk of this show is going to do a good pay per view number, um, and obviously the live gate, you know, was speaks for what it what it is. But um, you know, we still, um, I mean, again, like until we see that movement in the U.S. business, we're not necessarily in a, in a hot period. We just had a super successful sh individual show. So the old record, 79,800, 80,709 total inside the building. So this would have beat that so by they, several thousand. Yep, they broke uh, both of those, actually. Yeah. And uh, they announced... Not, not including the, the Korea shows, because there were actually more people in the building in the Korea shows, but those are different those types were, of shows. Yeah, those were... Those, were, those are like state-mandated... to go. Yeah, state-mandated attendance and everything like that. And we will probably get... Um, I, I strongly suspect that we will be getting all kinds of stuff people trying to you know say whatever and, and you know well whatever it's it's uh it's going to be an interesting one i mean one of the things is that uh wwe may run the stadium but wwe running the stadium unless they have um a much smaller stage that you know than than a normal wrestlemania um you know even though they may, they may do really big both days they probably will have a hard time legitimately putting more people in the building even though they'll announce a bigger number um there are places WWE could go for a WrestleMania to beat this number, I think. Uh, you know, Estadio Azteca in uh, Mexico City, but they'll, they'll never go there because you can't charge the prices and everything like that. And there's probably some, you know, but to get like 85,000 with a WrestleMania set in a building is uh, pretty difficult. They also announced that they're going to be doing a new show, uh, basically <clears throat> to... Uh Wrestle Dream. Wrestle Dream for uh, Antonio Noki, actually. Yeah, pay -per another pay-per-view, which will be October. It's October 1st from the Climate Pledge Arena in Seattle. Oh, my God. Anniversary day. That's going to be heat. That's going to be heat. Um, but you're, you're neck of the woods, huh? Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be there for that one. Yeah. I, I thought they were just going to run like some random show. Now it turns out it's a... It's a pay-per-view. It's, it's a pay-per-view with New Japan, although we don't know a we lot know. of details. We, we don't, we don't know how extensive, but obviously if it's honoring Antonio Inoki, one would assume that, you know, Okada and those guys will be there. Yeah. You know, so um, it's another another big event. I mean, he's clearly looking at doing more pay-per-views. Um, I mean, like, you know, I mean, it's, it's interesting that... The, the reason it's October 1st is because that's the, the anniversary of the... The first anniversary of the death of Antonio Noki, right? Or, or second. This year... Um, no, it would be the first. It would be the first, right, because it was last year. So um, it's, it is really interesting that, that he would pick Antonio Inoki 
and pick that date. It's just, um, but that's the plan. Um, so there will be that. And so there'll be a pay-per-view Labor Day weekend, September 3rd. They're going to come back October 1st. Then they're going to come back November 18th at the Forum in, in Los Angeles. So it's essentially, we're almost at that point of monthly pay-per-views. Um, you know, if it's four pay-per-views between August, between today and November 18th, we're having four pay-per-view shows. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.